everybody in the Theater Queen Alicia to right here on your screen to let you know to subscribe to Warriors of Wrestling. There's tons of amazing content on the channel. So subscribe now, hit the notification bell, and while you're at it, why not like every single video? Warrior Nation, are you ready for the next contest? The following contest will be a singles match. Folks, welcome back to the 14th anniversary show. Big send-up there to Biggie Biggs. The Lifetime Warrior Award there. Will Ferrara, an original Warriors of Wrestling member many, many years ago. 14 to be exact, by the way. <laughs> 14th anniversary. Uh, he's going up against Max Bain right now. Singles contest to kick off the second half. Chris Scott on the mic with Sam Eglowitz. Partner. Thank you for that introduction. Chris, I am excited for this match. This is going to be a big one. We've seen Max Bain make such a, a name for himself here in Warriors of Wrestling. And Will Ferraro, who's made a name for himself uh, since his departure from Warriors, now back to fight off against the present Max Bain. The way I see it, Will's back home right now. Being at the anniversary show, being able to see guys like Biggie Biggs and some old faces come back here, it's very nice. And look at this crowd. You know, that's one of the most amazing things. This is the biggest crowd Warriors has had in a long time. Because we've had this pandemic now for a long time. And what a what a treat of a match, man. What a treat, what a treat of a match we have to call. What a night it's been so far and so much more to come. Absolutely. Ooh. We still have the women's championship match to look ahead to, the world championship match to look ahead to. We have the rest of this match to look ahead to. These two dynamic and unpredictable competitors in there right now. Hell yeah. He's not going to take that slap to the back of the head. Will Ferrara toying with Max Bain. We usually see Max Bain being the one playing mind oh. games, trying to get it in his opponent's head, but Will Ferrara is maybe too experienced for that, maybe too well-traveled. Really toying with him. But if, if Max Bain can ever find a way to just, like, focus his unhinged energy, this guy could be one heck of a competitor in a title division for sure. Without question. We see him even now, even that brief exchange in which Will Ferrara did get the upper hand. But Max Bain can hold his own in a variety of situations in that room. Max Bain can hold his own if it gets to a chain wrestling and a grappling situation. He can hold his own when it comes to brawling and being just brutal and violent. He can hold his own when it comes to throwing his body around without a care in the world. And I'm not saying that Max Bain is not an impressive competitor. By all means, he absolutely is an impressive force in the ring. But once he learns to really focus his energy in one direction, 
I think this guy's got massive potential. He could start tonight with a win against Will Ferrari, an established veteran of the trade. Huge stepping stone that will be for Max Payne. Absolutely tremendous. That would maybe more than a stepping stone. That would catapult him perhaps into immediate title contention. But Will Ferrara, ROH superstar, Warriors of Wrestling original, like you said, he is not going to give that victory to Max Payne without a fight. He's going to make him earn every bit of it. Yeah, no, absolutely. Will needs a win here because he's back at Warriors of Wrestling, 40th anniversary show. Ooh, Will, certainly he's, Will was just nursing that hip. I wonder if Max Bain will focus in on that. It looks like Bain has detected it already. It looks like Max Bain maybe has a little bit more going on upstairs Ooh. than we may think. He's honing in that oh. attack already. Ooh. And yeah, like you said, that's a great point. Will Ferrara does not want to lose his return match. He does not want to come to the 14th anniversary, the biggest show of the year that Warriors Wrestling puts on. It's the 14th birthday of Warriors Wrestling. He does not want to come here to this big of a stage and lose. Shot to the gut. You know what it is? The anniversary show every year, it makes or breaks the year for every competitor. Absolutely. This is the night that is remembered the most. It draws the most amount of fans. It's the most important night of the year. There's no debate about it. One. Two, not enough. All the bigger of a platform for either of these guys to make an absolutely gigantic impact. I would say the second most important day of the year, the first show of the year. So next absolutely. month, that's going to be the next, that is going to be the biggest show of 2022. I would say it's the second biggest show of 2022. The anniversary show is always the biggest. Yeah, I would, I would agree with you there. And a victory here could absolutely set the stage for Max Payne going forward into the new year at New Beginnings next month in January. He's holding his own against Ferrara, twisting up. He held, he held on there. That was a nice move. He held on there. Driving that hip into the knee. Yeah, that was like a uh, some, some sort of modified STO where he got him to launch right down to his knee. Ooh, Max Payne focusing the attack on that hip and that lower back of Will Ferrara. Max Payne, he, he saw a weakness and he targeted it. That's a pretty veteran instinct Max Payne has to keep going after that hit, that hip. I'm impressed. Oh, and the paint that he wears on his face, it's like war paint. It is. I think Max Bain kind of, that, that's the outlook he has on life in general. It's just like he's always on a battlefield. Like he's always got to fight someone. Like he's always got to have opposition. Oh, oh. Good attempt by Ferrara. Two, not enough. Max Bain is at a war with the world at all times. And he's taking all that inner aggression he has on Will Ferrara right now. That could explain why he acts the way that he acts. I mean, he, I feel like he lives in a bunker. I, I think that's what it is. I think he, he's just got all this, this inner frustration and bitterness toward the world and the way it's treated him. And he takes out all that aggression in the ring. It's a healthy enough outlet, I guess. Ferrara ripping the head, but oh. Bain driving Ferrara into the corner. Max Bain, absolutely unpredictable. I know it's a cliche line to say, but how could you prepare for an opponent that oh. has no idea what he's going to do next? How can you know what Max Bain is going to do next if Max Bain doesn't know what Max Bain is going to do next? Snapmare takedown after that nice move there before when he was in the corner. Oh, European up gut there to a seated Ferrara. Now, now Bain taunting the crowd. Go for the pin one, two, not enough. Max Bain absolutely very impressive showing so far up against Will Ferrara. Warriors are wrestling OG as Brian Black said. Will certainly, certainly in control. He's got to stay on Ferrara. Ferrara can quickly come back into this one. Jawbreaker, Bain hanging onto the ropes. Who rolls for cover. Trips oh. up Ferrara, now brings him outside of the ring. Has him lined up on the steel barricade, drives him into the barricade. Really focusing on that lower back. That's the, the benefit oh. we see in play of the out-of-the-box thinking that Max Bain has. He comes up with ways to hurt his opponents that I don't think anyone else would see. And we're seeing, I'm impressed with the amount of focus that he's showing on directing his attention to that lower back of Ferrara. He's picked out a weakness, he's sticking to it. Oh! Ferrara sent into the steel barricade. And let me just say this, it's really telling the respect that you gotta think Joey B and Madrid have for Max Bain as a competitor. The fact that he has a singles contest against a well, well recognized Warriors of Wrestling veteran, Will Ferrara. Singles contest, no belt on the line. This is a huge opportunity. This absolutely is for Max Payne. Absolutely he's put is. the He's put the work in and he's here. And you know what? The, there's many fans in the crowd here. If they want to be a wrestler, they could join Warriors of Wrestling. They could join and get trained by the Warriors of Wrestling staff. And maybe someday they could be in the ring like Max Payne is right now. Max Payne came here to the Warriors Training Center straight from the asylum. He's made quite a name for himself here. He's definitely one of the most impressive guys that I've seen in my time here at least. Ooh. 
back to the back of Ferraro goes Max Payne. Yeah, and he, and he set it in the bar for the second half of the biggest show of the year, so, yeah. He's definitely someone to keep an eye on, in my opinion. He has so many of the tools, the unique offense, the personality that's larger than life. Max Payne has got it all. And if there's one thing he's missing, like you said, it's that focus. He's got to take all of that anger and bitterness that he has, put it into a find some direction, focus it somewhere. I think he's going to be unstoppable if he could do that. Will Ferrara able to trip up Bane there? This could be a turning point in the match. Is now Ferrara oh. focusing in on the left arm. So you got Bane going up against the lower back of Ferrara. Now Ferrara targeting that left arm. Oh! oh. Elbow strike there. That was flush onto the no! Of Max Bane. You can see the left arm there being attacked. Those two knees. Pin attempt by Ferrara. Not enough. Well, Ferrara, much like Max Bain, is a very smart competitor. And, and he's going to pick out that weakness now. He's going to stick on that arm. Yep. There it is. As soon as as soon as Bain kicked out, Ferrara immediately went out to that arm. A rope break is called. Nice ring awareness again from Bain. Max Bain is showing some really impressive instincts in this match. The ring presence to know that he was close enough to the ropes to reach them with his feet like that. Yes. Impressive. Yes. You can tell he's growing as a competitor here. And he knows now that Ferrara knows that the left arm is the weak spot. He's got to keep Ferrara off, but Ferrara continuing the assault on the left arm. He does not want to lose leverage or control. Absolutely not, especially as we get into the deep waters of this match, as we get to the point where both competitors have a weakness that they've point pinpointed in each other. Oh! Nice! Oh, that was torture on the back of Ferrara, on the hips point. of Ferrara. Two! Oh my god! It was a very odd, very odd count there. It sure was. I thought Max might have had him there. Referee uh, did not. I don't think count that three normally. And he's had a couple rough moments tonight. Oh, there! All that wild, just raw energy directed to the lower back and hips of Will Ferrara there from Max B. Just unleashing all that pent up frustration that he's got. Yes. An unfettered assault. Took the words out of the mouth with that frustrated comment. A oh frustrated body of uh, strikes into the back now. Launching that boot to the lower back. We're kind of seeing it a little bit now. We've been talking about how Max Bain needs a bit of focus and direction. I think that was a prime example of him focusing his anger in a, in a specific direction that's going to take him far here in Warriors Wrestling. Well, the fact that his offense is attacking the back oh. consistently, the fact that he's doing that, you know, that, that he's growing. He's certainly grown this entire year, and this may be the best that Max Bain has ever looked. I, oh. I would agree with you. You've seen him the frog splash there onto the back. Bane wants more though. Not going for the pin attempt. I think he could have gone for the pin attempt here. But no, he wants more. That's not enough. That's not enough for Max Bane. He's got a little more anger in him to get out on his opponent here tonight. Going for the top rope now. A little slow to get oh. up there. Misses the frog splash. And you can see he's nursing that left arm immediately. Ferrara with an opportunity to reverse the tide quickly. Ferrara oh. has the arm, sends him oh. down. Quickly back up now, tying his opponent up, going for the pin. Two, that's not enough. Nope. Nope. But now nope. going for oh. it, trying to move. Now he's got that arm. He's oh, trying Max to lock is it in. in. Big trouble. He's trying to lock in that arm bar. Oh, he's he got tapping. it. He got it. There's a tap. Will Ferrara with the victory. Back to you to Max Payne. Yeah, yeah, Max Payne not the type. Way, yeah. Max Payne not the type. I think that's as close as you're going to get to cordiality from Max Payne. Love you. Thank you. 
Hey, a player, this is the Josh Speaks, and you're watching Warriors of Wrestling, the best independent wrestling company across the entire country. So hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell so you can know whenever they post a new wrestling video. As always, love and peace.